Were you sitting on the toilet? No, no. I there was a chair. I went to do my makeup. And obviously what has happened is, you know, people go into the hotel, break something and put it back. They had they had broken the chair, placed it back, didn't say anything. I took the chair, put it in the bathroom, but I didn't check the chair. And as soon as I sat down, the chair collapsed on one side like it was broken. The whole thing collapsed. But so as I fell, I didn't want to hit my head on the shower or anything. I'm in the bathroom. So I reached to the, the toilet was the first thing I could, and behind me, I reached behind all, you know, I wasn't supposed to do that. Just trying to catch myself. My arm went in the toilet and just hit the, you know, the, the porcelain part. Oh my gosh. And, and I was down for a minute, but this is the crazy part. I ever so slightly looked up and I could just see a little bit of hair on the counter. And I got my finger to it and I, and I grabbed it. It was my wig. I threw it on my head as quickly as possible. I said, they ain't gonna catch me slipping. I threw the wig. Oh, oh Kim. It gets worse. But I get it. Cause that's the last thing. Paramedics coming in. You don't understand. With my last breath, girl, I had on half a Spanx. I grabbed a week and I saw the towel, so everything was close. I pulled the towel down off the hook. It fell across my body, and thank God, you know, my phone got this strap on it. I keep a strap. I I reached up on the counter. I could see the strap. I pulled it down, and I opened it up and hit the last person I called. And it was Nikki. I said, can you call the hotel? Tell me, get somebody up to my room, get me off this floor. So, <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't know. Thank God for I Nikki. I shouldn't even be laughing at this. It's horrifically no, funny. It is. When I tell you, the lady came up, and I don't know what took her so long. I could have been straight dead. That lady came up and she was like, oh, oh my. And I said, could you? She said, I'm going to pick you up. I was like, hold up. Let me see you know, how hurt I am. I don't want you just snatching me up. She said, don't worry about it. I lift up my grandmother. She 270 pounds. I was like, uh, what you, what you trying to say? <laughs> so she, so she got, I said, don't pick me up because she is a little short woman. I said, get me that other chair out the, out the other room. So she pulled the chair up. I said, just get me up and into that chair. Now, don't forget, I was getting ready for press. I had press. I had two television shows. And uh, what you call it? They brought me ice. My, well, it's a good thing it, you're so finishing your makeup on the floor. Oh Did no! You, yeah, I got up. Your makeup? I put, yeah, because I wasn't. I was thinking like, eh, you know, I'm just gonna do some makeup and go do this TV. I wasn't like, I don't do like you. I don't. I'd be looking half man on TV. I don't care. For the for you know, because it's local. If it was national, it's gonna be everywhere to be a problem. Because the one place, then they gonna mention, tell Sherry, you know, Sherry came on our show and she did the cooking. I said, yes, I understand. Sherry, this I said, but it's about me right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Girl, God. when I tell you this hotel, I ain't heard from nobody since. Are you cool I don't know, ain't nobody called nothing, girl. So I went to right after the the new. So on one show, my arm was hurting so bad. Somebody called and said, "Is something wrong with Kim?" Because I didn't realize I was grabbing my arm and wincing. But hmm. I went to urgent care and they uh, X-rayed it. And the doctor came in. He said, "You got a sprain and bruises, bruise, whatever." Two funny mamas. Two funny mamas. Two funny mamas.